Hello there. Today I'm doing a little video on tanzanite. Rather than this just being me showing off my specimens, we'll have a closer look at some of the individual crystals in a bit, but I'd like to try and explain how tanzanite was formed. But firstly, what is tanzanite? Well, as you can see, it's a rather lovely looking purpley blue gem. It's very rare because it can only be found in an uh, area called, and I'm hoping I'll pronounce this right, Merayani in Tanzania, near the base of Mount Kilimanjaro. Um, and it's there's actually a variety of a more common mineral called zoazite, which can be found pretty much anywhere on, on Earth. It's just this gemmy blue material which is unique to that area and why is it blue well it has a element in it of um, vanadium and that's what makes it unique to other zoazites and in order to find out how that vanadium got into the structure we need to look back a very long time try 1.82 billion years ago that's when the first rocks were formed that the tanzanite eventually formed from. It started off as being um, sediments at the bottom of a shallow sea overlying a basin and those sediments were rich in heavy metals one of them being vanadium. Um, after time the sediments would have turned into a rock called shale which would then have been brought deeper into the earth by subduction and uh, they would have been subjected to heat and pressure and eventually um, minerals would have formed from that but then there was an event called the Pan-African Orogeny Orogeny means mountain forming I originally believed that was caused when um, two ancient continents called East and West Gondwana collided with, it, collided with each other but from what I've been reading recently, that's not the case. But either way, it was formed um, about 585 million years ago during the Pan-African Orogeny. So as the, those deeper rocks were forced to raise up to the surface, the pressure and heat changed, and it caused what was called what's called retrograde metamorphism. And it's that where the tanzanite formed from. So that's a, a very brief and simplified uh, bit of information on how tanzanite was formed. Let's have a little closer look at some of these crystals now. These are actually not complete crystals, they're actually two chunks. And they, they were actually my first two specimens. And then this one this is a nice crystal you can see the crystals form these things which taper to quite thin at the termination some of these may have been heat treated most tanzanite that's in jewellery has been heat treated to give it a more uniform purpley blue colour some of them I've been told aren't heat treated like this one for instance is apparently not heat treated and you can actually if you have a bit of polarised light I use the light from my uh, PC monitor because that's polarised light and if you turn it like that you'll see it sort of turns like a yellowy green colour and then if you rotate it it turns blue I think that helps to prove that it has not been heat treated. This is an interesting little crystal because it's formed like lots of very thin crystals stacked on top of each other. Sort of like a fan effect. And it has a small amount of black graphite in there, that's a uh, fairly common accessory mineral with tanzanite. I'll just hold that up to light so you can see the 
purpley colour there. Um, this is like a big chunk. It sort of has some crystal form because it has these flat faces. Nice colour there. I don't know whether I can actually truly call this a crystal. And it does have lots of sm like, small terminations on that side there. And this is my latest one. I actually got this one today. I really like this one because it's, it's actually a bicolored crystal. You can see it's purpley color on the top and bottom and yellowish in the middle. And the termination is quite unusual because it's made up of lots of lots of small terminations. That also seems to have a bit of a cat's eye effect. Just hold that up so you can see the colour there. How it ranges from the deep purple and golden yellowish green to, to a light. And this is, uh, I've been told this isn't been heat treated as well, and it does um, have the same effect with the, where it turns greenish yellow to blue under um, polarised light. I'd like to try and show it so you can see the cat's eye effect. You can see sort of like a silvery. Anyway, that's my uh, tanzanite crystals and fragments. And I hope you found. Oh, before I go, this is um, the green stuff. Is savorite garnet, and that's mixed in with a very um, poor quality tanzanite, like a pale greyish purple colour. And it's quite interesting because um, the the Savorite Garnet, that is also fairly unique and the colouration is also caused by vanadium. So the two minerals are kind of like associated with each other. In fact I believe that uh, the Tanzanite could have started off as Savorite and as the heat and pressure was um, reduced it actually started to form into Tanzanite. A lot of graphite on that. It's from the same same area. So there you have it. Bye.